can you write a function with infinite number of input or output arguments? If not, watch this video until the end. The basic form of defining a function is this. This part determines the maximum number of input arguments, and this one determines the maximum number of output arguments. Notice the word maximum. I define a function named f with one input argument a, f of 10 displays 10, and f of zero displays zero. Now if I run f of 10 and 11, it shows an error. As I said, this part specifies the maximum number of input arguments, which is 1 here. So if I want to display two numbers, I must add another input argument in the function definition. The problem is now I can't run the function with one input argument. Too many input arguments, not enough input arguments. How can I fix this issue? There is a built-in function called nargin. It returns the number of actual input arguments supplied by the caller. Let me comment these lines and see what an argin does. So an argin has nothing to do with the function definition. It only looks at the actual inputs by the caller. Now I can fix the issue we had. If the number of input arguments is equal to 1, display A. Else if it is equal to 2, display A and B. Now it works alright. If I want to extend my function so it can accept 3 input arguments, I should change its definition and modify the code. What if I want to have 4 input arguments or 10 input arguments? Obviously, we can't write a code with 10 or 100 input arguments. That's when we need varargin command, which means variable length input arguments. I clear the function lines and set the input to varargin. Let's see how it works. I run f. Here varargin is an empty cell array. Now f of 10. Now it contains the input in a single cell. This time f of Sarah and John. You see all of the input arguments are stored in this variable. So I can write a for loop and display every element of varargin. For ii equals to 1 colon n argin, display varargin of ii and. You see it works alright for any number of input arguments. Notice that varargin is a cell array, so you need curly brackets to refer to its elements. I also want the code to check if there is at least one input argument. Parallel to nargin and varargin, we can have nargout and varargout. Currently, the function does not accept any output arguments because in its definition, the maximum number of output arguments is zero. I add an output and store every input argument inside it. But still there is an issue with the code. When I run f of 10, I expect it to display 10 and return no value. So I want a variable number of output arguments. My output must change to var argout. Now I can control the output. If the number of output arguments equals to 1, I store input arguments in the var argout. Else if n argout is bigger than 1, show an error message. Can you figure out why this line is written in this way? If not, leave a comment and I'll explain it. And that's it, our function works alright. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye bye.